Hey, Spuddies, Potemic Whiskey here, and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization VI as India. Now, oh, I'm at Warwick Granada. That's a mistake. I shouldn't be over here. Oh, well, we got exploration. That's really all he was aiming to do. So we need to start pressuring this with my Hinduism religion. So right now we've got 1591. If we do a spread, that brings that down to 1431. Puts my Hinduism a little bit deeper on it. 1288. Eight. So we should be able to flip this city to our side. And we got a free settler. Oh my god, this game is just handing itself to me. What if you guys swap? You get the Spear of Fion. And then you swap again and then you can attack. There we go. We'll take down Baghdad. And I think that's his last city. Go explore for me. Next turn. I'm feeling pretty good about this game so far. I'm feeling like we are in a really good position to win. We have so many cities. We've killed a, 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 a rival already. Uh, so that's going to be like... Maybe... Oh, could we make this like an India total world domination game? I'm not really sure what my objective is here. I'm kind of just... I can't, Like I said, I came into this with like a religion game in mind. But really, we've kind of just ended up doing whatever makes sense on the way and... and some of that's been, like, just killing people. Uh, has Petra been built? I wish it would say... I wish it would say on the thingy it, whether or not it's been built. Finish Celestial Navigation, go for Mathematics, and then this, because I could Petra in here. Wouldn't be bad. I would love more missionaries to try and, like, uh, pressure my Hinduism over here. So, let's have a look. We're at one, two, nine, three. We're eliminating some of their pressure. We should be top pressure soon. Why are you taking 39 turns to grow? I guess you are kind of low on the food surplus. Uh, the negative amenities is causing problems, I suppose. Uh, always repair the buildings first, I feel. Uh, heal up. So yeah, we just, uh, we just eliminated Arabia with three Varu and a Battering Ram. Does anyone wonder why I don't really ever do Domination Victories? It's because they're so easy. Just to clarify. Speaking of which... Could settle for these gems over here. The good news is I should be at peace with all these city-states now. Nice. Um, but you make your way... Yeah, go settle there. Danger? Who are you in danger from? You're not in danger. Don't be crazy. A very strange map. Uh, a very strange map that's been formed here with this fractal, fractal map. I, I kind of like it though. It's kind of goofy and weird. <gasps> Leave me alone. Okay, there's my sore. Fortify there. So I would like to place my holy site right there. But you also need to go on your monument spree. Okay, we've officially flipped this to Hinduism. Let's see if we can't reinforce that by flipping this city. So now there is more Hinduism pressure in general, but it needs more work. But the really important thing is that we can purchase here now Hindu... Uh, missionaries. But what I might do is I'd like to get a temple up and do some inquisitors. But for now, I'll just get a couple of missionaries because I think I can flip these pretty easy. If I get a couple of missionaries, I can just kind of go flipping around and doing stuff. Heal up. Next turn. And all I ask is a tall so I'm worried about declaring war on Australia. Uh, he could be pretty scary to declare war on because it might boost him. But if I wait too long, I might let him finish like a science victory by declaring war on him later. So it's, it's, it's always a tough proposition to declare war on Australia. You never want to do it unless you're guaranteed to get a kill. 
like a fast kill. Uh, yeah, let's place, I'm thinking, a harbor. Not sure if we're going to actually build it, but I want to get a want to get a district down. Would love to get temples out. Uh, this city also needs a granary real bad. Needs needs build charges too. This just needs so much stuff. Just needs so much. Okay, let's get over here. Uh, if I can get my religion reinforcing itself over here, I'd be pretty happy. Uh, okay. We'll fortify here. We've sent your delegation of gifts from Yosegi Zukuri, some of our greatest works. Your delegation is most welcome. Go here. Spread. And spread. Okay, we've almost pushed our pressure to the top. And that will uh, net this into our religion. Now, it might seem a waste to have done this, but I feel like I'm going to get benefits from these holy sites that are already existing. I get extra benefits. Like, I mean, I feel like their religions are really weak. Now, I do need to get a temple up and start enhancing my religion as well, because there's two more beliefs here that I could use to maybe squeeze even more gold out of my religion. Oh my goodness. My goody two shoes goodness. Good thing we can faith purchase ancient walls. Good thing we have the cash for a spearman. Water mill was completed in here. I believe I was going to grab a settler. I've got one settler heading over there. I've got one settler up here. Oh, actually. Jeez, I don't even know what to do with myself. My empire is so huge. And it's it can get bigger. Like, it's not even finished being big. <laughs> I haven't needed to swip, swatch, switch any of these. I mean, I guess mm, maybe I could switch governments. Now that I'm not really at war. I have no idea what to do with myself in this game. I'm in such a weird game right now. I've never played a game this weird. I have no idea what I should do. It's such a weird game. Um, I'm really confused. <laughs> I don't know what to do myself. Do I even have aqueducts unlocked? I think I would like to unlock those relatively soon. I'd like to get an aqueduct in the city if I can. I usually ignore aqueducts. I'm not, I'm not really a huge fan of aqueducts, actually. Kind of oddly. But I tell you what. Get me a builder. Because you do have some tiles to improve. I'm just going to put you in here and put you asleep. Okay, and there's a boost towards reformed church. Grow the city to 10 population. Not going to happen. I mean, it is possible as India, but all right, we have three spreads. We have two spreads left. So I'm thinking Baghdad. Yeah, look at that. Plus seven per turn for Hinduism. That's what we want. Let's have a look at that religion overlay. Yeah, okay. Now we've got Hinduism really strongly reinforcing itself all over the place. It's exactly what we want. Plus one pressure, plus two pressure. How much pressure is each city setting out? Two, two, four. My word. I may as well spread it to Baghdad as well. I mean, sure, why not? I've already like spread to a few different places, so I'm going to do that. Uh, unit needs orders. Sorry, I had to mute there for a second because it was like a thing going on. 
Uh, you need orders. I'm going to build a thingy here because I want that tile. We'll go to the next turn. And we'll kind of see what happens. I really don't know how this game is going to end up. It's, uh, <laughs> it's a bit of a mystery to me. I've never really played anything like this. We do a bit of damage here. And then shoot. You can Faith purchase Ancient Walls. So, yeah, go get that Silk online. You go here. Spread. Hinduism pressure. I think every time you spread with a missionary, it eliminates some pressure from other religions as well, which is quite nice. But yeah, I want to get I want to get Islam off the map. I've lived through some terrible things in my life. So So let's shoot here. Oh, you're kidding me. Military tactics has advanced considerably. Well, I guess I do get to get a pikeman now. Ancient walls in this city as well. How many movements have you got? One, two, three. Can you see that far? I don't know if you can, so I'm worried. Uh, I think a harbor here wouldn't be amiss. Right there is good. But I want you to build the holy site, because the holy site will provide me with more in the short and long term. Do you run over here? And so we'll be going from... 300 turns to spread to me to decidedly less, I hope. That'll update next turn and we'll see. I mean, I'm making a lot of faith in gold right now. Get inside the city. Take the echelon promotion. I'm getting pillaged right now by barbs. Does not feel good. Okay, I got a granary over here. That means the city's going to start to grow a little bit. Let's also grab the water mill to force the city to continue to grow a little bit as well. And uh, I would love to improve some of these things, but this quadrivium is in my side being a thorn. I should really have maybe brought back the Varu. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do that. I have like units sitting over here that I could be using. Could also be building a unit, but I don't want to switch away from what I've been doing. Okay, water mill completed in Cairo. So let's talk about what our plan is. What the hell are we going to do here? Are we going for like a combat victory? Are we going for domination? I don't know if domination is the right move here. Uh, I feel like we're really well set up to kind of do whatever we want in terms of victory type. Like we could purchase great people that we really want with faith. We can... Basically, do whatever we want here. So, let's make... Well, I don't want to do a culture victory because my last game is a culture victory. I don't want to do a domination victory. Hey, you know what? Let's do a science victory. Oh, religion, maybe? Religious victory? Do we do religion victory? Mm. Now let's just do a science victory. Ah, uh, but I guess I am playing like a religious sieve. I have such a huge empire though. Let's just do a science victory. Let's do a good old casual, friendly science victory. Put a campus over here. Um, and we'll get started on that. We have like, because our religion isn't really geared for like winning a, a religious war or anything. Okay, get that up there. Next turn. Settler is in a little bit of a uh, <laughs> awkward position. Do I have a unit to help it maybe nearby? We're attacking my city. So there's Petra. Out of curiosity, can you over here? You could do Petra. I'm thinking on this top. Because I don't want it to put it adjacent to the holy site. Because it'll waste the um, boosts that it'll get later. Uh, let's grab... Granary has been completed. Shrine Temple would be nice. Let's go for Watermill. 
production food, the whole lot. Okay, granary completed. Would love a monument. Gonna grab the holy site because that's gonna make these tiles better. Really should get a builder. So where am I tech-wise? I'm pretty close to getting divine right. Wait, why do we need defensive tactics? It's for civil service. Okay. Kill there. Improve that stone. Shoot this boat next turn. Yep. I don't know. This is a bit of a this is a really weird game. I'm not hating it. I'm just like confused. <laughs> like what is going on? I don't feel like I should be doing this well, but I feel like I'm doing way better than I deserve. It's just a strange game, man. So, uh, I need to wait until I get rid of some of these units. Where's my Varus? Attack there, do a bit of damage, we'll go to the next turn. Okay. We've got a holy site finishing up here. Probably won't get this Petra, but I'm gonna go for it anyway. Oh no. Okay, so we got a granary in Aleppo. Uh, I would like to get some border growth going, maybe. So I'm thinking monument. What tiles are you working? You're working this tile and this tile. Those are fine. These are totally fine tiles. Look at that gold income, though. That gold income. God damn. Yeah, I'm, I'm still thinking right there is a reasonable spot. I'm gonna chase this guy down. There's so much room for cities. I can just keep settling and having I'm just having the laugh. Choose production here. Right, we got our holy site finished. That means we have all these nice bonuses that'll come. Uh what are you working right now? So the wheat and the thing. Yeah, those are good tiles. Let's grab ourselves a granary to grow. We also want the water mill as well. We also want a builder in there attack here do the damage promotion available you'll get hit but you'll get promoted i think you should survive this and then i can promote you i'll pull you back there's defensive tactics okay i'll pull you back i'll get you promoted so he just handed my my builder away which kind of frustrates me and annoys me um sure I wanted to settle right here, but I'm scared to move. Unescorted. Right there. Okay, shrine repaired. Yep, go ahead and repair that shrine. Yeah, look at that. Just handed my builder away. Very annoying. But, uh, you know, these are the things that you're dealing with. When you're playing Civ, you just gotta live with it, man. We're killing some of these boats, though. Feels pretty good. Got a lot of faith banked up. We'll be able to use that for good things. Like walls and stuff. Okay, shipbuilding. That'll give me the ability to embark and Coliseum. All that good stuff. Nothing too crazy, but, you know, useful things. So, encampments. I was going to build encampments, but now I've made the decision to go science. But I have, like, such good room. I have such good things for going for conquest. I don't mind going for this science, but, yeah, you know what? I think I, think I should stick with my instinct and go for, like, a domination game or something. Well, I also have two really good scientific city-states that I could take advantage of. Train of Aru. Do that. Get in the city. Oh, no. I've been done. How could they see so far? It's like they have radar. I thought I'd be able to sneak over to that spot. All I have to get is get that settler. It's okay. It's not the end of the world, it's just kind of annoying. I want to settle up here too. My god, I have too many cities. What am I doing? What am I doing with myself? Here, look, just take them. Just take them. I'll get them later. Hmm. 
Yep, 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 yep. Okay, let's kill here. Move there. Move forward. Move downwards. You don't need orders. I should have escorted them. I don't know why I didn't. I'm just being, I'm just being kind of sloppy and lazy. <laughs> Which is really dumb of me, to be honest. Uh, your people are lazy and unworthy. Hey, wow! I just admitted that and then you just like completely crapped all over me. Way to hit a guy when he's down, thanks. Okay, so let's get some kills. Watermill completed, so... Good production, good food in here, nice surpluses. Looking great. I'm really thinking about the monument because the borders need to grow. In particular to these two tiles right here, because these are going to be big tiles for us. Also, super neat builders. Thinking actually of quickly going for feudalism here. Before we go for monarchy, divine right, reform church. Thinking it, it's about time we got rid of the settler policy card and like made some changes. So next turn after the settler pops out, we'll make some changes. All right, go here. Right there is where I want my holy site. You might say, wait, why are you still building holy sites? But listen, this is my rodeo. I can make decisions for myself. Uh, you fortify there, just don't take damage. Stockholm. Hell yeah, give me that gold. The gold in that science. This empire is just silly. Like, it doesn't know, it doesn't no need for an empire to be this big. Okay. Right, so what are the next steps for me? I really, I really think the only, like, I really think, like, just the easy, the simplest way for me to win is going for education and universities and stuff like that, and just going through a science victory, so that's what I'm going to do. Okay, I want to grab the diamonds. Do I have whales somewhere? I have whales over here. I want to grab the diamonds. Oh, and the coffee. I could grab diamonds, coffee, and whales all in one fell swoop. Make your way over there. Okay, get this up. You know what we need? We need builders. Oh man, I can faith purchase watermills and stuff? What? I thought it was only walls. Oh my god, give me the watermill. Listen. Buddy. Watermill. Granary. Oh, that's actually huge. I don't know how I missed that. Oh, that's Garrett. That's huge for me. What have I been doing? Get that monument. Get that granary. Oh, man. I've been messing up here. I could have been doing so much better. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Talk about me, but like, talk about playing sloppy. Didn't even move this guy. He's gonna pillage us again. God damn it. I re you know, if I were playing, like, perfectly, I would have, like, units garrisoned on districts and stuff like that. And, uh... So I don't think we're gonna get Mont Saint Michel. Just the way the game worked out, I don't think we're gonna get these wonders, so I'm gonna delete these pins. We had high hopes. Uh, you know, I never really expected to get them. It was just kind of a, like, this is something I would like to do or happen in this game. Recruiter rate general. Okay, so we'll get a point with Stockholm here. So, uh, but I think this is a good point here. I feel like we've made made some tracks here towards making a decision about how we're going to win the game. Um, we're quite a few techs behind, but we can skyrocket our science here pretty soon. So, I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying this series. Please remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Remember to leave a like if you want to directly support my channel. And remember to leave a comment if you want to give me your feedback. Other than that, though, I want to say I love you all very much. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!